Hi, Danielle here. Welcome to Danielle's Corner. Today we're going to be making crock pot apple pie cinnamon roll casserole. What you're going to need, two cans of apple pie filling, two cinnamon rolls, containers of cinnamon rolls, vanilla, cinnamon, heavy cream, um, light brown sugar and two eggs. Let's go ahead and get this going. Okay, first off, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with some cooking spray. We're going to set that to the side. Now we're going to cut these up, each one into four, and put the one can into the crock pot. I'll put a recipe down below. This has been, I've seen this on TikTok so much, I had to try it, it looks so good. There's many different ways to do it, but this is the way I chose for myself. That would be best. And don't get rid of the cream cheese filling, we're gonna use that also. Topping, I guess it's not a filling. Let me know if you guys try this, let me know if you've seen it. Do you guys watch TikTok? Comment down below and let me know. So I'm going to go ahead and get these, and then I'm going to do just one can. I'm going to cut up both cans, but I'm just going to put one can in there for now. So let me move this closer. So we're just going to go ahead and put these on the bottom. There we go. Next, we're going to put half of the apple pie filling. Um, it does technically say one and a half cups, so I guess I'll try to follow that. Uh, let's see. It doesn't say two cans, but I think we'll end up using two cans. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put That's half, but you know what? I'm just gonna put a full can. I'm just gonna do a can. I'm changing it up. So I'm gonna put a can. I'm following the recipe, but we're going rogue at the same time. Okay, and then we're going to put the other half, the other can of cinnamon rolls. And this is gonna cook on low for about two and a half to three hours. So I'm really excited for this. This will be, I mean, this would be so good just on a, whenever. Honestly, you could have this for breakfast or you could have it like for a, a dessert, maybe put some ice cream on top. I think this is gonna be so delicious. Okay, in a bowl, we're going to add a fourth a cup of heavy cream, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of brown sugar, if it wants to come out. <laughs> we're going to add in two eggs and we're gonna whisk this together. I'm just gonna use a fork, I'm not gonna use a whisk. Um, don't forget to put any prayer requests you have down below. I pray for you all anyway, but if you wanna have a specific prayer, I would greatly appreciate that. And you can also, if you don't wanna put it down below and have others see, you can email me. My email address is down below, it's a Gmail account. Okay, I think we got this all mixed up good. I just want to make sure we got all the flavor. Now we're going to pour this over all of this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this inside so I can get it going. And let me get a 
plugged in because I've done that before where I've forgotten to plug something in and that's not fun. Okay, I'm going to turn on low already. But we're going to go ahead and pour the second can of apples over. Okay, so here we have it. Everything's ready to go. Have it on low and I'll see you back here in about two and a half to three hours and we'll see what we got here. Okay, so it has been about three hours. We're gonna now take the frosting and pour it over and then, maybe not pour it over, but like drizzle it over. We have two of these, so we can do both of them. It smells so good. Now with this, I did notice the edges got a little bit more done than the inside, so I did kind of have to like shift it around a little bit to make sure that the, the middle was getting cooked, but I think all in all, it's going to be delicious. Okay, so there it is with the two containers of frosting on it. I'm gonna go ahead and serve myself some and we're gonna sample this. Okay, here it is. It smells so good. It looks so good. Mm, it tastes so good. That is so good. Like I said, the only issue I had was the middle not cooking the same speed as the outside. I don't know what to do about that. Um, I kept it on low, all that. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have any ideas, let me know, but it is very good, very tasty. Quick and easy, you can add some ice cream on top of this and yummy dessert. Let me know if you guys try it down in the comments below. And I hope you're all having an amazingly blessed day and an amazingly blessed week. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.